亚湾高铁，我们是一个真真正正的三百五十公里速度向下的这样一条高铁，在印尼的落地上。那么，爸爸，我从小就想成为一个。要对动车场进行。中国三百五，横竖三百四十一。It's a big day for this Indonesian young man Ali. Today, for the first time, he sits in the driver's seat of the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway, his working seat in the near future. Before, he was an experienced regular train driver. A few months before, when we first met Ali, he was taking the theoretical training by the Chinese teachers online at the Indonesian Railway Academy in a small town called Medan in Indonesia's East Java province. Setelah listrik lanjut, dia akan ketemu relay dua dua K nol satu. Pada sini dia akan my first impression of the high-speed railway was not good. But later on, it totally changed after I took the theoretical training. China adopted high-end technology in building both the system and the equipment. I think it's generous for China to transfer all these things to Indonesia. For many people, their negative comments on the railway come from the fact that they don't know much about it. I believe that as soon as they will take this high-speed railway, they will know what it's like. After finishing the theoretical training and successfully passing the written examination, today, for the first time, Ali can practice on the bullet train simulator to experience the high speed under his Chinese teacher Mu Zhen's guidance. Do 这手就扶着，哎，放松放松，嗯，目标速度三百五，横速三百四十一，是不是有点看看不过来？这胖子。Previously, the train speed that Ali drove on was about fifty kilometers per hour. The Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway is designed to run at speeds of 350 km per hour, making it the fastest in the world. While for high speed railway trains in France and Japan, the speed is 320 km per hour. We have other trains to go through the railway, such as the Zhonglao Railway, which is a 160 km per hour speed to the speed of 360 km per hour. 青菜铁路第一条中东欧的高铁呢，我们是两百公里速度目标值向下的。印尼亚湾高铁最大的不同就是我们的这个速度目标值，我们是一个真真正正的运营速度到了三百五十公里速度向下的这样一条高铁，在印尼的落地生根。The technology is cutting edge, and we work closely with the Chinese government. We work together on construction, operation, and maintenance. The transfer of technology and knowledge will proceed smoothly. 
The Jakarta Bandung Fast Chain project employs 15,000 people in total, with 13,500 locals. The rest are Chinese workers, who are made up of supervisors and upper management. The workforce ratio stood at 1 to 7, with 7 Indonesian workers for every Chinese worker. After finishing construction, China will transfer the technology to Indonesia so that the country can independently operate a high-speed railway system. To achieve this goal, China has already facilitated the training of over 45,000 Indonesian personnel. However, since the cooperation between China and Indonesia to build the jakarta Bandung high-speed railway, the hub of the depth trap theory by Western media has never stopped. All eyes will be on the future Indonesia operation has of the high-profile project and, and its and commercial China's debt trap diplomacy. One thing I think we have to bear in mind, when you hear this kind of noises, you could find that they are never from those participating countries. They are never from those developing countries that have already involved in and benefited from the BRI cooperation. According to the World Bank, if all the infrastructure projects under the BRI framework are to be implemented, that will generate some 1.6 trillion US dollars global benefits by the year 2030, accounting for 1.3% of global GDP. And 90% of that will be shared by the BRI partners. That's most beneficial actually for the least developed countries and the developing countries. That will help over 40 million people out of poverty. We will benefit from this project, particularly in terms of economic and regional growth, as well as later when the high-speed train is operational. On October the 2nd, Indonesian President Joko inaugurated the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway as it was set to begin commercial operations. It is the first high-speed railway in Indonesia and even the whole of Southeast Asia. Its operation will reduce the travel time between Jakarta and Bandung from 3.5 hours to 30 minutes. Ali and his classmates will become the first batch of high-speed railway drivers in Indonesian history. So smooth. The facility is so good, uh, so comfortable, uh, different from the regular train, and also so fast. <laughs> That's the most important thing. When I was learning the Indonesian my I want to be among the first batch of high-speed train drivers in the history of Indonesia. Also, I want to be my father's pride. He used to be a regular train driver. When I was a kid, the thing I remember most was that my father could pick me up by the railway when driving. At that time, train drivers could halt at any location so I could board my father's train at any moment. And then he could take me to the train garage. I could see many trains there and I was really interested. I hope my children would see me as their pride, just as how I see my dad. <laughs> 